Hi, Julie here. We are looking at Microsoft Learn, specifically an official collection. This is the Business Applications Professional Collection, and this is made and maintained by Microsoft. So we've got here items that are in the collection. It could be a learning path. It could be a specific module within a learning path. And you can make your own. So let's learn about how to make our own. You'll see that I'm logged in here. I'm going to go straight to my profile. And then on my profile, you see lots of different things about my learning experience, but we're going to go to collections. You'll see that I have a couple already, but let's make a new collection. We're going to name it my new collection. You can give it a description if you'd like. We've got this notice here that collections may be publicly viewable, and we'll talk about that again in a minute. So let's create this. We've got this created and we'll go and drill down into it. So you'll see that it's an empty collection. We'll add some things to it here in a minute, but let's look at a couple of things. So from here, we can edit the name. We can add that description that we left blank. We can delete it and we can share it. So we can make a collection for a targeted group of people, for a blog post, we want to talk about it, we want to share it with some of our students, we can make a collection and share it with other people and make it publicly available. So let's look here for some items to add. So we're going to go look at Dynamics and Power Platform. So we have a lot of results and you'll see that we have results that are learning path level and module level. So let's add some data analytics. We'll click save. You can choose which collection you'd like it to be in. And you can continue to add modules as well as entire learning paths. So if we're looking here, let's go to a learning path that we haven't saved. And you'll see that we have modules in here available to us. We have a save button right here that can add it to our collection. Now let's go look at our collection. We see that we have several items in here. We can reorder them. We can also make sections. So we can make sections, do this first and save it. And you'll see that everything is contained in that section because I only have one. Do this next. We'll save it. And then we can put other items in that different section. So we can organize it for whoever's going to be consuming it, whether it's for ourselves or someone else. You might make one that's targeted on practical learning. You might make another collection that's targeted on your certification journey and so on. Then once you've made the collection, again, you can share it if you'd like. So you click on share and how do you want to share it? You can email it, you can share it on different social media platforms, and you can take just this URL directly and share it with others.